What up, what up? So it's K here. We are back with another Madden NFL 17 career, guys. You guys have been blowing up my comment section for it. So here it is. It's coming back to your guys' lives for, well, today. Or maybe if you guys want to watch it tomorrow. I don't know. But anyways, so in this one, we are going to take on the Los Angeles Rams and Jared Goff. And then the San Francisco 49ers. Kaepernick is the starter for that episode. So now we're going over the practice. We're going to be doing a lot of blitzes, a lot of fake blitzes, and a lot of cover twos. So we're going to wrap up this practice and then get to the next week. However, there will be a struggle as we have multiple wide receivers out. So we are lacking weapons offensively. The defense is going to definitely feel the burden as we are probably going to take a lot more possessions on defense. Now let's get to our first snap on defense. The run of the shotgun. It's a handoff. Bow. We light up Trey Mason. Guess what, my man? Let's go. Not playing games. And here's a little recap of the injuries. We're missing Michael Floyd and Jerome Brown. We're missing two wide receivers. Second and seven after the hit. We're coming on a safety blitz. Great pickup and a little stick route by Cooper, who breaks the tackle and fights up to the 42. First and 10 after they move the chains. Jared Goff is looking for an open man. We see the check down and we stop him for only a gain of one. Great play recognition and great awareness by us. Third and nine after incompletion. Jared Goff looking for an open man. Hits the check down in Trey Mason. He breaks the tackle, but he fumbles, and that ball is behind the first down marker after they recover it, so fourth and two. If he held on to that, that would have been a first, but they are now going to elect to punt. Regardless, though, our offense is at 70% the strength, and we could not score. We light up Trey Mason once again. But yeah, guys, we're definitely going to need to step it up on defense to make up for the lack of offense. Third and six. We see the slant. We drop down. Jared Goff throws it out of bounds. Great read by us, and great coverage all around. First and 10, lined up in an empty backfield. Jared Goff looking for an open man. He throws across the center on a post row. I take the blame for that one. That was my man. Second four after they get into the red zone. 48 seconds left in the half. Let's see what we can do. Playing the cover three again. Jared Goff can't find an open man. He throws it to the check down, but that is dropped. Third and four, guys. We've got to step it up right here. Maybe we can force a turnover. The pass. It's a corner strike. We're reading the corners, but Jared Goff gets sacked. Looks like a 43 yard. We get through the line, but we could not get the block. But at least it's showing that I can do it all, man. LA Rams get the ball in the second half. After they hit the field goal, they go with the run. And we light up Trey Mason again. He's definitely feeling those hits. Get out of my face, Jared Goff. You don't want the work. Second and 13. Jared Goff on the center. Goes with a little play action. Everyone's strapped. Nowhere to go. He just throws it in the middle of the field. Third and 13. Run out of the shoddy. Goes with a little play action. We see the post this time. Or the crossing route. Whatever you want to call it. Throws the deep shot. And that is intercepted by Tony Jefferson. What a play. How far can he take it? He gets up to the 44. However, he got hurt on the play. Not good. We lost the defensive back. But we still can't get on the scoreboard, guys. We got to keep working at it, though, as we can't have any quit in us and just give this game up. We got a great run stuff on Trey Mason. It's now third and eight. We're going to come with the safety blitz. No one's blocking me. And we get there. We also force a fumble. And we recover on the three-yard line. We better get in the end zone this time, guys. The lack of awareness for the rookie definitely showed on that one. We needed that play as that sparks this team, and we scored 10 points unanswered. Now a 7-point lead in the fourth quarter. Dropping back on this cover one. Jared Goff nowhere to go. Throws it on a deep shot to Kenny Britt, but catches that in double coverage. Second and goal in the red zone. We're playing our zone. Jared Goff looking for an open man. Plenty of time in the pocket. No pass rush. Jared Goff scrambling out. We pursue him, and we split the sack. Great stuff by Minter. Throwing a goal after the sack. Dropping back into cover three. Jared Goff throws it to the corner. And that is out of bounds. But after they hit the field goal, our offense turns the ball over on the 13-yard line. Or maybe the special teams. I don't know. All I know is we got to make a stop. Trey Mason looking for a hole. Nowhere to go. Gain of virtually nothing. Second and six. Playing a cover three. We got to shut him down. Throws it to the left corner. And that's caught by Kenny Britt, who's having a game straighten up our defenses. And with that touchdown... That will pretty much seal up the game as our offense cannot get it done. Only one timeout, first down. You guys do the math. They can run this ball and just end this game and head to the locker room. Another great hit 
but it really doesn't do anything for us unless we force a fumble. Not looking good, guys. We catch an L versus the Rams. They even decide to hit a field goal. That's a little disrespectful. And as you can see, I'm pretty salty. I tell that camera to get out my face. But we did individually have a great game with 1.5 sacks, forced fumble, and 10 tackles. But hey, man, I could have made a few better plays like that one post route. But there is no rest for the weary as we're getting right into the next game versus the San Francisco 49ers in Thursday Night Football. And that was a terrible read by me. I was way too over aggressive on that one. And Carlos Hyde gets a great gain on that. First and 10 looks like a stretch run. We're coming for Carlos's head. And great stuff by the defense. Third and six. Playing the cover three. We see Kaepernick, but we drop back into our zone. He did not anticipate that, and we intercept the ball for the second interception for us in the regular season. Let's get it. <laughs> Dang, this man just kicked me in the face. Flag him. Come on, ref. One more thing I forgot to mention, guys. Last week versus the Rams, John Brown got hurt, so we have three of our four best receivers out. We have to rely on Larry, guys, and this defense. Second and four, going with the cover one. It's a screen pass. Carlos side makes the guy miss, breaks a tackle, and fights for the first. We gotta step it up. We gotta help out this offense. Second and ten. Colin Kaepernick, plenty of time in the pocket. Throws it deep, and that ball is intercepted by Patrick P, one of the best defensive backs in this league. But by no surprise, our offense could not score as our offense is extremely injured. Up 3-0 though. Carlos Hyde goes with the run. We shut it down. Great play by the defensive line. It's now 3rd and 12. Playing a cover 3. Dropping back. We see the seam pass. Throws it to Davis out of bounds. That's a 4. And out of field goal range. We got to make something happen, guys. Colin Kaepernick rolling out of the pocket. Nowhere to throw to. He runs backwards and takes a sack. He tried a little too much right there. Second and 15. Carlos Hyde in motion. We come with the safety blitz. We get the hit, but he gets it off just in the nick of time. Two Vance McDonald. Breaking a tackle. Making another guy miss. Someone take down the tight end, please. We push him out of bound in the red zone. Second and 10. 45 seconds left in the half. Bam! We light up Carlos Hyde. We force a fumble. And Washington. Daryl Washington, that is. Will he take it back all the way? Colin Kaepernick with the tackle, but we get the ball back in scoring distance. What a play. After we score a touchdown, we're up 10-0. No, boy, where you go? We shut down the run again. I don't know what's going on with our offense, guys, but we turn the ball over again on the offensive side of the ball, and they get the ball in the red zone, but this defense is playing way too stellar on third and 11. Let's see what we can do on this cover three. We see this slant, and we break up that pass. We're going for the pick. We couldn't get there in time, but at least we break it up. Fourth and 11. Had to settle for a field goal. Field goal was easy money. Up by one possession. Offense still can't score, but this defense is playing lights out. Corner strike. We see the slant across center. He throws it to the check down. Bobbles it. Catches it behind the first down marker. Gains nothing. Third and 12. Come with another safety blitz. Another hit on Kaepernick. Gets it off, but that is a fourth down. Offense turns it over again on the 23 in the fourth quarter. Second and 12 after a tackle for loss. Kaepernick on a screen pass to Carlos Hyde. Can we get there? No one is there. And Carlos Hyde gets into the end zone. This game is now tied up. Not good. Got to step it up on offense, guys. Guys got to get it done for us. Second and six after a four-yard run. It's a draw. We read it and we light up Carlos Hyde with a nasty hit. Third and three. We got to make some plays, guys. They go with the handoff to Carlos. We make the tackle. We force it. Except he crosses the first down marker and their team recovers. Still their ball, guys. First and 10. Now at the 34 yard line, playing another cover three. Throws it to the corner. And Ellington with a great catch. Second and 10 after an incompletion. They're driving though. Drawn. Jukes me out, but wait for 90 to make the tackle on Sean. Third and five. Going with another cover three. We see the deep shot. We see the check down and we break that up. That's now fourth and five. They're going to have to go for it or maybe punt. They're probably going to punt though. They get the ball back because their offense can't get anything going. They go with the screen pass. I jump over alignment and we make a great stuff on Carlos there. We needed that second and 13. 
Dropping back, we see the post. We're here! And he throws it to the check down. Carlos Hyde gets the first down. Not good. We gotta keep him out of field goal range. Third and nine. We gotta make a play here. Play action. We see the slant. Nowhere to go. Throws it deep. And that is out of bounds. We're now going to overtime. And the offense gets it done. We score on our first possession in overtime. We win a nail biter. Thank gosh, guys. We did not go 0-2 in this video. That would have been terrible. But man, like you can't really blame us because our offense is like completely destroyed. First, the LA Rams, we had two offensive players out. This game, we had three wide receivers out. That's unheard of. But let's take a look at the stats. So as you can see, Larry Fitz had to do it all himself as no one else could really make plays. And I got six tackles and two tackle for losses, including a pick and two forced fumbles and one was recovered, which led to a score. So guys, we are playing light. So guys, we are playing phenomenal for a rookie early on in this season. Am I gonna win Defensive Rookie of the Year? Am I one of the best safeties in the game? You guys let me know in the comment section. But I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. And I'll tell you what, if this video gets 1,000 likes, then I'll upload another player career by Tuesday, all right? I'm out, love you guys.